Hello and welcome to this episode of Commune and K. This episode is going to be focusing on the variety of Nintendo news that has occurred in the last few days, so jumping right in, let's start with Smash Brothers news. First off, obviously the biggest portion of the news is that Super Smash Brothers for 3DS has been released in Japan, and so you're going to be seeing a lot of Smash Brothers in the next week or two, and so I'm going to try to focus a little bit on that as well, mainly on customization options for different characters, probably breaking that into a couple episodes because there's going to be a lot of information to cover, as well as maybe just doing some analysis of the mechanics that more people are finding in the game. And so, moving on from that, there's the US demo for Super Smash Bros. has kind of been released. Basically, those with Club Nintendo accounts that are platinum, or they've gotten enough coins to re make it to platinum, are able to access four codes for the demo. Basically, you only need one of those codes to unlock the demo on your own 3DS, and then you can do whatever you want with those other three codes. So there's just been a mad swarm, essentially, of people going for codes. People are selling them on eBay for more value than the game is worth itself, and so forth. It's, it's kind of insane. So once the... I think the demo officially releases on the 19th, and so after that, you can just go to the eShop and download the demo and try it out. It's got the five characters, Mario, Link, Pikachu, Villager, and Mega Man. And so if you desire to play, it's only got one stage battlefield, but it does give you the option to switch it to the Omega version or the Final Destination version of the stage where it removes the upper three platforms and removes items as well, which is kind of nice. And so Basically, you get to try out the game and see how it works. It only has 30 uses, but a lot of people have just been leaving their 3DS on and just closing it, putting it into sleep mode, and just keeping it on that one continuous use, which is a smart idea if you just want to keep the demo for as long as possible. And so, the next bit of Smash Brothers news pertains to the release date for the Wii U version. There was a Fred Meyers reservation card, that a picture of it that has been released, that may have been leaked, it may be faked, who knows. But it shows, I'll show it in the video above, but it shows that the release date for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U will be November 21st of this year. And I'd be very pleased if that's the release date, it would make sense just being about a month and a half to two months after the 3DS release, and just before the holiday season starts. So I'd be, I'd be very happy with this being the release date, but we'll see if it actually turns out to be. And so, moving on from Smash Brothers, I'm now going to talk about some Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire news. So the first bit is just kind of a follow-up from Koro Koro. Basically, the Pokemon company usually puts out a trailer of some sort after Koro Koro comes out, basically showcasing the information that Koro Koro did. And so the first things first is that the Pokemon company announced that Rayquaza, an incredibly powerful Pokemon, will join the fellow legendaries Groudon and Kyogre in the video games. And so basically they hint at Rayquaza is somehow related to the mystery of Mega Evolution. And so we might be seeing Rayquaza getting a Mega Evolution, either that or a Primal De-Evolution, de but it's looking more towards that it's going to be getting a Mega Evolution, which is interesting. And we'll see how that affects Rayquaza and what it does. And then the next thing is it went into more detail about Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. And so we already knew that their new abilities gave them a new ability that summons either Harsh Sunlight or Heavy Rain. And so I speculated in the previous video that focused on Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire news that it would be kind of like the old drizzle and drought mechanics where the weather was permanent essentially and would last until it was changed. But it's actually a bit different. So Primal Groudon gets the Desolate Land ability which changes it to Harsh Sunlight. Opponents cannot change the weather condition during extremely harsh sunlight, meaning moves like Rain Dance, Sunny Day, Sandstorm, Hail will fail. Now that's really, really kind of 
overpowered, especially because abilities like Drizzle, Drought, and etc. will also fail to activate and not change the weather. And so, basically, Primal Groudon comes out, you've got Sun. Forever. And so, the most scary part about this ability is that water attacks will quote-unquote fizzle out. Basically meaning that Primal Groudon stops water attacks from happening. The ability that Primal Groudon has causes it so that water attacks can't even do damage, which eliminates Primal Groudon's main weakness and makes him only weak to ground, which is insane. So Primal Groudon's gonna be really interesting to see how he does in the uber tier in competitive play. And then he also gets a moves move called Precipice Blades. So we'll see whether that has any cool interesting effects or not. It didn't really go into too much detail. And then Primal Kyogre gets an, ab an ability similar to Groudon's called Primordial Sea, which changes it to Heavy Rain. And as with harsh sunlight, opponents cannot change the weather condition during heavy rain, and fire attacks become ineffective. Now this isn't as quite as useful to Kyogre, because it already resists fire attacks, plus the rain usually weakens fire attacks anyhow, but we'll see how that works. It can probably help shield teammates that are weak to fire type. And then it also, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed yet, but people have been speculating that their that Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre's abilities are the only ones that can change the weather while the others is active. So that means pretty much every team in the Uber tier will need to have either Groudon or Kyogre if they ever want to change the weather. And so we'll see how that works. And Kyogre also got its own move called Origin Pulse, and which is a water type move, but we'll see whether it has any extra effects similar to Groudon's. And then it goes a little more into detail about Team Magma, Team Aqua, and their Megas, talking about how Maxi gets Mega Camera upped, and Maxi wears Mega Glasses, basically, which have the mysterious keystone set for Mega Evolution in it. And Camera Up gets Sheer Force, as I've talked about, and then base stats are increased, except for speed, which drops. And then Team Aqua, Archie has a Mega Anchor, which is set with the keystone. He gets Mega Sharpedo, all of its stats get a boost, and it's it kind of goes into a little more detail saying its already high attack is enhanced, and then gets Strong Jaw. And so we'll see how much the stats get boosted at release, because they're not going to tell us before then, they didn't with the previous game, and so we'll see what happens. And then Mega Galade is going to be owned by the trainer Wally, who previously had a Gardevoir in Ruby and Sapphire. And so it gets Inner Focus, which is one of its abilities already, if I remember correctly. And its attack and speed stats improve, mean, looking like it's going to get the biggest boost to those two stats, which is going to be really interesting for Galade, because Galade wasn't the fastest. It had decent speed, but it wasn't terribly fast, and so we'll see if this speed boost and attack boost really help it to rival other Mega Pokemon, especially it's going to be having a lot of competition with both its compatriot, essentially, Mega Gardevoir, as well as Mega Medicham, which shares its same type but has huge power as well. And so we'll see what the advantages of Mega Galade over Mega Medicham might be. And so they also talked about the special demo version of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Basically, it'll feature gameplay that players won't experience anywhere else. Players are likely to encounter a familiar Pokemon that can now Mega Evolve. One of these Mega Evolved Pokemon can be brought into the full Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire game. And then items obtained during the demo can also be brought into the full game. And those details will come soon. And when the demo is coming and how to get the demo will also be coming soon. And then the final bit of news is that Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Global Link will be compatible with Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now most of us were expecting this but it hadn't been confirmed and so people did have some worries. 
but both of these features will be compatible with the new games. And so I think that's about all the news that I have for today. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will be back either tonight or tomorrow with more Nintendo news. So until then, stay classy, YouTube.